Hello Pisces, welcome back. My name is Rosa. Thank you once again for tuning into my channel. Today I'm here to bring you your weekly Love Vibes reading. Um, thank you for being patient with me Pisces. I do apologize I'm late in getting your reading out uh, but I've had a lot going on so no excuses but I, I've made it. I've made it <laughs> and I endeavor to get these readings out to you guys. So Guys, this is just a general reading, okay? Take what speaks, leave what doesn't. Uh, if you require a personal reading, then feel free to reach out. We can go ahead and book that for you. For those of you who are tuning in for the very first time, welcome, welcome. I'm also on Instagram, you guys, so feel free to connect with me over there because I do offer a variety of different readings over on my IGTV channel, very separate to what I offer here on YouTube. So if that speaks to you, then um, I will leave a description of how to find me and how to connect with me in the descriptions box below. For those of you who are returning, welcome. I'm grateful. Thank you once again for being here and supporting me on my channel. For this particular reading, I'm using these two decks. We're using Biddy Tarot's Everyday Tarot and my own um, personally designed deck that I've designed myself called the Twin Flames Oracle Journey from the Shadows to the Light. I have created it for my own personal use, but I will look at having that up for sale somewhere down um, the distant track or near track or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> My English isn't the best. <laughs> okay, Pisces, let's jump on in. I've begun shuffling the Oracle. And we're going to take a look and see what has been coming up for you regarding your love life in the recent past. Okay, one has already popped out. Let's take a look. Heart space. Beautiful, beautiful Pisces. Great beginning, heart space. So I'm sensing here with this heart space card that a lot of you in the recent past have realized that you are ready to open up your heart again. Okay, for you single Pisces out there, you're ready to open your heart up again and, um, you know, get ready to mingle. Um, perhaps this is all about forgiveness, open, opening that heart up, okay, Pisces, forgiving, forgiving someone from the past, forgiving someone that has perhaps hurt you or, or did you wrong. And this is, if, if this is forgiveness, guys, this is really just allowing you to free yourself from something that has kept you trapped from something that has kept your heart blocked and heart closed, okay? This is about opening up your heart and loving again. Okay? And when you're in that when you're in that open heart expansive energy, your your vibration changes, your vibration shifts, and you're able to attract the most amazing people to you. Okay? For others of you um, in the recent past, I feel that maybe you have met someone, okay? You have met someone that you uh, that you know you have a passionate connection with, okay? And you have felt, you know, um, those loving vibes again. So perhaps you've met someone recently, Pisces. Let's take a look and see um, what the clarifying cards have to say before I go any further with that heart space card. Okay, Knight of Swords. I feel with this Knight of Swords energy, because this person is in the reversal, I feel for a lot of you this may be a male that you have met so if you're a female watching this you have met a male a guy a, a you know um a man now the fact that this knight of swords is in the reversal is telling me that something's happened here within this connection okay 
Perhaps this Knight of Swords could be an air sign. It could be a Libra, um, Gemini, or an Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be, okay? This could just be the energy of someone who has detached themselves from you, all right? Perhaps they have distanced themselves. I'm feeling a disconnect here within this, okay? You perhaps have met someone and this Knight of Swords energy has disconnected, distanced themselves, has um, gone cold, on you okay perhaps this knight of swords has ghosted you and you're going what the hell what the hell where has this person gone um for others of you this is someone that has hurt you with their words okay their words have been very cutting um they may have spoken before thinking about what was coming out of their mouth and as a result has um hurt you to the point where you are just needing to, or you realize, you know, you have to let go of this. Um, forgive, forgive this person. They know no better. Okay. And you look, you don't have to forgive anyone. My guidance to you is, is that if you choose forgiveness, you really have to embody that. Okay, and I feel that for some of you, you are looking at wanting to forgive. And, and not, not because, um, you know, this person I feel may have done you wrong, but you're, you're needing to forgive this person to detach yourself, to untangle yourself from that energy, to release yourself from that attachment. That's, that's what I mean. Okay, look, we've got the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, this is this has caused you a lot of uh, deep worry, um, perhaps even depression. Okay, you may have feel depressed. You may have been um, beside yourself thinking, but, you know, we had a passionate connection. What the hell? I'm beside myself. What the hell? Why has this person ghosted me? Why has this person been so cruel and so ice cold towards me? I don't understand. And it's put you in quite a, um, a, a very dark place, Pisces. Or perhaps this person is in a dark place. Perhaps this person is dealing with depression. Okay? And you're trying to keep that... Um, heart open for this person and that's okay that's all right Pisces if like Pisces you do try to look at the good in every situation but also please 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 don't disrespect yourself okay if this person is battling um, some inner demons here if this person is um, look I'm not accusing anyone of mental issues but you know, I feel they're mentally unstable. Okay? Give them the space to deal with it. Give them the space to work it out. You can still love them from afar. All right? But you don't have to you don't have to um deal with this person if you don't want to. Honor yourself. Respect yourself. Okay, Pisces, you are a very um, nurturing person and you, you like to, you're, you're very compassionate, okay? So don't let this person walk all over you if you have done so, but just guide them and point them in the right direction and just, you know, give them the right tools that they can choose from and go here, look, you know, Here's a list of people that perhaps you may be able to contact to support you through this time. Okay, but, but don't let this person take advantage of you. We've got the death card in reverse. I feel this person has been dealing with something internally. And to be honest with you, I don't see them changing anytime soon. Do they want to change? Probably not, because they've got the death in reverse. 
I'm not seeing this person wanting to change their behavior. I'm not seeing this person really wanting to take the, the right action steps to better themselves. Okay. Um, also to Pisces, this could also mean that this connection isn't over with that death in reverse. Someone doesn't want things to end here. It could be you. Maybe you don't want to let this person go. So let's take a look and see what's happening in the with the recent energies, the here and now. Okay, too many cards flew out, so I won't take any of those. So Spirit Angels Guides, oh, here we go. One wanted to pop out. Negative emotions, aggressive turbulence. So you're trying really hard to forgive this person and be loving and compassionate Pisces and that but you also have to set your boundaries okay Pisces set your boundaries because if you don't I feel this person's energy is going to leak into your energy field okay and it's going to impact you okay so you may find that you might be dealing with some negative emotions of your own Okay, this person is really impacting your, your emotional well-being. So set those boundaries. Set those boundaries, you guys. If, if negative emotions are coming up for the present for you, um, journal around them. Maybe speak to someone. Find um, a really good support network that can help you through these emotional times. I feel that you, you need people, you need to be surrounded by people who love you, who support you, who can nurture you through this, okay? We have the seven of pentacles in reverse. Okay, you might be feeling, Pisces, that, um, you might be feeling that you are very much wanting to uh, no longer invest in this connection with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is you thinking about dropping all those pentacles, okay, letting bygones be bygones. I see here with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse that there's no growth happening here. This is like, um, there's no growth. These Pentacles are not being watered or nurtured. Okay, so that tells me, you know, if you're in this negative emotional state, Pisces, then nothing can grow in that space. Nothing can grow. A relationship can't grow. Love can't grow. You're depleted. This is about reinvesting that energy back into yourself. Six of Wands in reverse. This is feeling... Um, this is a feeling of... You know, not feeling satisfied. This is an unsatisfactory outcome. You didn't want it to go like this, but it has gone like this. But that's okay. Like, um, you know, time is always ticking on Pisces, so don't beat yourself up about it. You're, you know, you're not happy with the situation. You're not happy how things have turned out, but you can't worry for anyone but yourself at this stage. Why? We've got the temperance in reverse. This person is really rocking your boat. Okay, this is not healthy for you. You need to invest that energy back into yourself, dear Pisces. And I say that with love. Okay. Um, yeah, someone's... This is you, temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse. Someone's rocked your inner world. You know, you're shaken at the core. Okay, so, oh, cards are flying everywhere. 
Um, so you could be feeling really nervous. Pisces, you could be feeling really nervous. You may be dealing with a bit of anxiety, okay, as well. That's what's coming through. Okay, so let's take a look, Spirit, and find out what's coming up in the possible future outcome. Disconnected. I feel for a lot of you, Pisces, that you're needing to detach from this person. You're needing to let this person go. Um, you need to sever the ties, okay? There is disconnection. And well, like I said earlier, if if you're in this space or if this person is in this space of being very turbulent with their emotions and not being able to control their emotions, then um, love and a relationship cannot grow in that space. It cannot grow. Forgive yourself, Pisces, for what's unfolded. It's okay. You know, it's okay. So let's take a look and see um, what Tarot has to say for the disconnected card. And two, you're feeling disconnected. So watch that you don't disconnect from yourself because of these emotions. Because what can happen if we're feeling um, if we're feeling pain on an emotional level? Sometimes we can disconnect from ourselves, so we don't feel that pain. But what can happen is is that can cause problems further down the track. All right, it's not wise to disconnect. It's not wise to disconnect from our soul. It's not wise to disconnect from ourselves. But but that can happen when you're feeling anxious, when you're feeling depressed. Two of Cups. I feel um, Pisces, okay, well, this is a bit of a twist of um, events because I feel if you disconnect from this person and you reinvest in yourself, okay, if you nurture yourself, you take care of yourself, you do what it is that you need to do to fill your cup up, these two of cups will, um, these two of cups energy is saying that you may be able to attract your soulmate. Okay, this could be this speaks of a soulmate energy, the two of cups. I don't see it any other way. I feel that um, through you doing your thing and reinvesting back into yourself, you will mirror back to this person that in order for them to come towards you, that they will need to do the same. Okay, so I feel that there may be some mirroring energy going on in the future outcomes. Nice. Look at the cards that have come up. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. This is um, someone focusing on themselves, getting to work on themselves. Okay, really look, look at this person focusing on that pentacle. This is someone getting to work on themselves. Focusing on where you can do better. Focusing on forgiving yourself, forgiving someone else. Doesn't mean that you need to be disrespected by them though. Forgiveness is completely different. Forgiveness is detaching from the pain that that person may have inflicted on you on an emotional level. Okay, and when you both do the work, like I said, this is both of you, you will mirror each other. But we learn from, we learn from soulmates. So if you felt this is a soulmate energy, like soulmates come into our lives, it doesn't mean that they stay forever though. Okay, we have lots of different soulmates. Okay, and this soulmate may have come into your life to mirror something back to you, Pisces. Maybe you've had to learn the lesson of where you need to set your own boundaries. And that's what this Eight of Pentacles is about, getting to work on your boundaries. Focusing on, 
on your boundaries. Look at this, Ace of Pentacles. This can go any way, Pisces, really. Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity for success. Okay, this is a successful outcome. Things will be turning around. Okay, things are looking positive. This person may come towards you and offer you something more committed, more stable. This is stable energy. This is an offer of some sort. All right, this is, yeah, this is a positive outcome. So, yeah, have a think about that, Pisces. I hope you got something out of this reading. Feel free to leave your likes and comments below. And until next time, beautiful, I will speak to you soon.